Hi and welcome. We are here with Dr. Mark Allard, cardiologist and medical director of the Cardiac Rehab in William Osler Health System. I'm going to be asking a couple of questions from him. Dr. Mark Allard, what is a heart disease? Well, thanks for coming in today and it's a pleasure to answer some of the questions. Uh, so you've asked what is heart disease? Well, that's a very broad term. Uh, heart disease is implying a problem with one's heart. Heart disease can encompass a large variety of disease processes. The most common would be coronary artery disease that could lead to development of a heart attack or chronic angina. But there are a lot of other chronic heart disease conditions that would include valvular heart disease, congestive heart failure, and cardiac arrhythmias. Uh, but by far the most common uh, heart disease process is atherosclerotic heart disease or coronary heart disease. What are some of the risk factors associated with the cardiovascular disease? So just to uh, reiterate, cardiovascular disease is implying disease of the blood vessels of the body of the heart. And cardiovascular disease encompasses coronary heart disease, uh, stroke, and peripheral vascular disease. Uh, nonetheless, it's a uniform uh, process uh, where uh, atherosclerotic plaque builds up in the walls of the arteries. And there are numerous risk factors that have been identified uh, to be associated with an increased risk of developing this disease process. This would include uh, hypertension, elevated cholesterol, diabetes, uh, smoking, and family history is also an important risk factor. A strong family history of heart disease is a, a family in which uh, a first degree relative, uh, either a sibling or parent, has had the onset of disease at a young age, which is usually under the age of 60 years of age. I think we all wanna know, what are some tips that we can reduce our risk factors from the cardiovascular disease? Well, I think that's a, a key point. Uh, prevention should be the goal here. Most of our therapies uh, for cardiovascular disease are uh, treating uh, disease after it has already occurred. And ideally, we want to prevent this disease from occurring in the first place. So the best way to prevent heart disease is to look at your lifestyle and look at the risk factors in your life that may contribute to the development of the disease in the future. So you know, look at what you're doing. Are you eating properly? Are you exercising? Uh, it, what is your weight? Are you above what is accepted to be the normal weight for someone your, uh, your size? Uh, and uh, if uh, you know, you're your best judge of if you're living a healthy lifestyle or not, uh, if you're not, you need to be doing those things. You need to exercise, you need to lose weight. Uh, if you smoke, uh, that's a very important thing and something that you can easily address and quit smoking. That's a very strong risk factor for heart disease. Certainly if you have the risk factors uh, that we've mentioned, such as high blood pressure or high cholesterol, again, addressing those risk factors will also help to prevent the onset of disease in an individual. But you really have to take a look at the lifestyle factors and what you can do for yourself before looking at medical therapy. And we really do need to look at the primary prevention of heart disease as opposed to focusing on treating the disease after it has already occurred in, in an individual. What is cardiac rehab? Cardiac rehabilitation uh, is a, a fairly intensive uh, program that looks at the medical evaluation, exercise prescription, uh, counseling, and education of patients with heart disease. The focus of cardiac re rehabilitation is to improve uh, patients' well-being who have heart disease, improve symptoms, uh, improve uh, their life expectancy through the activities done through the program. Uh, cardiac rehabilitation is often a, a three-phase program that involves first with their index hospitalization when they were diagnosed with their condition, followed by a second phase which is an outpatient ambulatory monitored uh, program that can run anywhere from three to six months in length. And then the third phase is a more an, an individual program where the patient continues with the tools that they've learned in the intensive program to continue lifelong. How important is exercise in primary and secondary prevention? Well, exercise is very important and this has been looked at uh, in studies of exercise-based exercise rehabilitation programs. Particularly in secondary prevention, there is fairly good data uh, to support the benefits of exercise-based rehabilitation for patients with heart disease. It's been shown that uh, these programs, in particular the exercise, improve uh, many facets of the patient's life. First of all, it allows them to be able to exercise more, 
but it has beneficial effects on both their cholesterol profile, uh, blood pressure profile. Uh, patients just feel better. It enhances their psychosocial and uh, mental well-being and uh, being able to do more. But likely most importantly, these exercise-based rehab programs have been shown to reduce uh, mortality rate of patients with heart disease significantly. Patients who are enrolled in cardiac rehab programs are 30% less likely to die than, pa than uh, patients who do not participate in these programs. And the exercise is likely a big component as well as the other uh, uh, things that they learn during their time in the program. In terms of primary prevention, there is less data or studies that have been done looking at exercise and uh, cardiac rehabilitation. Uh, but nonetheless, we know that exercise has beneficial effects on a lot of those risk factors that we've already talked about, that uh, exercise you know, improves blood pressure, cholesterol, and by reducing and targeting these risk factors, it is uh, quite understandable that this almost certainly would result in improved uh, outcomes for these patients as well. Thank you, Dr. Lard, very much. Now you heard it, you guys, how important exercise is. So I hope you guys are exercising and stay with me for the next session.